Second update of Typhoon Canoon, a category 4 strong typhoon that is approaching Okinawa in the Ryukyu Islands, positioned at 24.8 degrees north, 129.2 degrees east, and as you can see on the satellite presentation, a really good, uh, really looking good storm. Uh, it's quite weakening a little bit, but still maintaining typhoon status for the next day, so it's going to be a really nightmare for the people living in the Ryukyu Islands. Right now the current uh, conditions of this system is uh, 130 miles per hour sustained winds category 4 typhoon, pressure of 936 millibars and moving to the northwest at 10 miles per hour, that's latest at 11.30 hours in Okinawa and Tokyo local time which is 2.30 hours UTC on August the 1st. And about the tropical storm force winds extension up to 230 nautical miles from the northwest, northeastern and southeastern quadrant, which is quite broad system and quite a broad, uh, quite broad um, extension. Tropical storm force winds 170 uh, to the southwestern and 130 to the northwestern quadrant. So it's a possibility that right now, or it's, or or, or well in the next hours. The Ryukyu, the Ryukyu Islands and mainly Okinawa will feel a tropical storm force winds sustained in the next hours. And about the distances from different locations, Kanun uh, is located about 245 kilometers to the southeast of Okinawa. This is in Japan, 800 kilometers to the east of Taipei in Taiwan, and 940 kilometers to the east northeast of Wenshu in China. About the different agencies' uh, estimates intensity, 130 miles per hour sustained winds from us, from uh, Force 13, 140 miles per hour from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, and a slightly weaker system, 120 miles per hour from the Japan Meteorological Agency. This is a projection, the uh, possibility uh, that it's going to occur in uh, of Typhoon's canoon behavior in the next days, going to maintain typhoon status in the next days, practically stalling nearby the Ryukyu Islands, bringing a lot of rain and humidity. Uh, Taipei and Wenzhou are also in the in the insert in the uncertainty cone because erratic storms can change uh, about its track or or about its uh, forecast. So let's see what happens in the next days. The sea surface temperature is looking good for Canoon, about 28-29 degrees Celsius and maintaining those temperatures on the next day, so it's not going to be an impediment for Canoon to uh, have some fuel to intensify or at least maintain some intensity on the next days. The wind speeds, practically uh, Canoon has peaked, gradual weakening is going to occur but still maintaining Typhoon status for the next 4-5 uh, days. About the wind shear is going to remain marginal, quite low, and then increasing again. So it's not going to be that much for Canoon on the next hour. So it's going to be a really interesting how the atmosphere also will behave the next day. So it will also determine how strong or how weak Canoon will be on the next days. The humidity is going to remain quite marginal, uh, 75 in the mid 70s, high 70s. So it's also a good condition uh, for Canon to maintain some intensity and the sea surface temperatures 28-29 degrees Celsius. So also good conditions overall for Canon. And this is the satellite imagery of Canon. Uh, the current conditions of its eye quite looking uh, racked on the last frame. So this is a clear sign of some gradual weakening. Those flowers you can find them in 413's website. Also you can find the Forcer Team's uh, merch store in the store, well, in the website, sorry, or also some articles that our team also write for you about the storms, analysis, and more. That's all for today. <laughs>